News contributor Andrea Tantaros, comedian author Jeff Havens, and host of White House Brief Paul Westcott is with us today. So let's start with uh, this turmoil in Libya, because this week President Obama, boy, he got my attention. He's marching through all these things that are very diplomatic. And then he said the bloodshed in the country of Libya was outrageous and un unacceptable, of course. The administration said it has a full range of options that we should use to respond to the crisis. So the question is, what are all these options? Let's listen to the president. I've also asked my administration to prepare the full range of options that we have to respond to this crisis. This includes those actions we may take and those we will coordinate with our allies and partners, or those that we'll carry out through multilateral institutions. Like all governments, the Libyan government has a responsibility to refrain from violence. Okay, so he was talking about all the different options and everything else. He's going through, like I said, the diplomatic things. But, Paul, let's start with this. When he said, I've asked my administration to prepare the full options, what I heard was Pentagon. Right, absolutely. I mean, right now, I mean, look, we had in the state of Arizona, you had this, you know, the Human Rights Council from the UN going after us, the president slamming for enforcing immigration laws. Why the heck, where's the UN, where's the Pentagon, where's the U.S.? UN, 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 UN. What's, UN. The, what's the UN look like? <laughs> those are the things in the history books with the guys with blue helmets. The blue helmet where are guys, they? exactly. Where are they? You've got something <laughs> equivalent to genocide going on there right now. You've got, you know, fighter jets and helicopters shooting at protesters. Where the heck are they? Where's this president on stopping this? Well, Andrew, did that get your attention, or am I just the only one who's making no, a big deal out of it? No, it did, and it's part of a larger theme that this administration has failed to actually put in place some kind of discernible Middle East foreign policy. It seems that every time there's a crisis, they stick their finger in the wind. Obama did talk about sanctions, which I think this is a point that needs to be made. George Bush said to Gaddafi, give me your weapons of mass destruction. This is a nut who, who had his mind on weapons of mass destruction years back. He turned them over because of the threat of sanctions. Could you imagine, Tom, if Bush wouldn't have had done that and we have this unrest in Libya now and that madman would have had weapons of mass yeah. destruction? Yeah. So the question is, I, I think it's too late for sanctions. The administration talked about it now, but we're way beyond that. I think we are. And Jeff, I mean, this goes to... To, to all the way from the Ronald Reagan school of throw a missile into a, a Momar's tent all the way to, uh, to maybe no fly zones. But, but to, to me, did you hear the military as part of that? No, I actually didn't. I think he said full range of options, and what he meant was the options that we have. And one option I think we flat out do not have is to get in there militarily right now. This is their fight. And more importantly, al-Qaeda is not a, not a threat in any of the countries that are currently in unrest in North Africa and Middle East. If you put our military in there and give them an opportunity to start saying that we're trying to shake things up, you're going to give them a reason to be in those countries. We need to let the Libyan people do this for themselves. Gaddafi is going to be out of power in two weeks. Whether whether or not we're in there or not, we should sit back. I think we should do exactly what we did in Egypt. Sit back, wait for the revolution to happen, and then step in, help them transition into a democracy that well, they're asking That's not for. what we did in Egypt, no. but... <laughs> well, and I, I disagree with we you. We didn't come in here, militarily the, in Egypt. Here's the other part of that. Well, on, one, on one hand, we said we don't want to meddle because the people in the Middle East don't like us. On the other hand, what they don't like about us is that we never do anything. We talk and then nothing ever happens. Well, we talk and we talk with mixed messages. We've been doing that with Israel. We did yeah. it with Egypt. I mean, again, there's no discernible, clear-cut Middle East strategy. Say what you want about George Bush. Agree or not with democracy promotion, but he had a strategy in place. Yeah, he did. All right, let's talk about the government shutdown. This is all looming and Oh, whoever you talk to in Washington, I was down there talking to these people and one person would say, oh, it's going to happen. The next person would say, no, no chance. But uh, there's a deadlock over these whole budget proposals. So, Andrew, do you want to um, take a, is it a flip of the coin or is there a, definitely a government shutdown well, coming? 